I love the change of seasons and now that it is officially spring and Earth Month, we have tons of fresh projects to share with you to inspire you for this upcoming season. Here at Sally Tomato, we love Earth Month. So we have some inspiring projects to share with you to promote water conservation and also for the upcoming holidays of Mother's Day and Father's Day, we thought it would be fun to do a DIY home spa series with some fun projects to share with you for gift ideas or to create your own personal retreat at home. So here I have the first project part of the series. And this is our mesh shower scrubby. This is a free tutorial on our blog. This makes a great gift and it uses our new mini mesh. So it's really soft. You can pop this in the wash and reuse it over and over again. As I was creating these projects, I searched online and discovered that showers actually take less water than baths. So on average, a shower uses about 17 gallons of water, whereas a bath uses about 30 gallons of water. So hopefully these projects will bring a little bit of luxury into your own home while you're conserving water. This next project is brand new and this is our DIY shower or bath mitt. So I was inspired by our air mesh and I used a little bit of terry cloth, which is really soft and some fold over elastic to create this shower mitt. So you have more of an abrasive side with the air mesh and then a softer side with the terry. I love making eye masks. They don't take a lot of fabric. They're a quick sew for gifting and you can use different fabrics for totally different looks. So for this one, we featured our Sherpa fabric and on the back side, some soft satin for a nice comfortable fit. You can watch the free tutorial on our YouTube channel and I also share tips on adding some embroidery. And this last project is brand new. This is a DIY bath mat. You could certainly use some different terry cloth. I just used solid white. And then on the back, I featured Bozal utility grips so that way it grips to your bathroom floor. There is a layer of foam in between the bath mat and I added some fun quilting and binding to the edges to finish it up. I really like how this project turned out and I think all the projects bundled together as a fun gift basket would be great for mom, friends, or even yourself. Some more exciting news is we just launched our first collection of micro suede. And micro suede is a vegan material that is faux suede. It's very soft and pliable. We think you're going to love sewing with this fabric. It's another luxury looking fabric that's at a great affordable price point compared to cork or real leather. And I absolutely love that it's vegan. So we recommend using a size 8012 universal needle for sewing with Microtex. And you can plan to see lots more inspiring projects using these fabrics ahead in the new year. We always get so many questions about what is in Cork Club? So I wanted to unbox last month's Cork Club to show you what some of the hype and mystery is all about. This year we gave Cork Club a brand new look. Our box was given a makeover, so this is so fun to receive every month with two 12 inch cuts of cork fabric. So I'm gonna open up the box and show you what's inside. So all new members get a special welcome gift so I'm not going to talk too much about this, so that way it's a surprise when you join our work club. Also included is an inspiration card. And on this card, we share the information about the core fabrics that you received and the designs. Plus there's a special discount code on here and information about our Cork of the Month contest that we have for a chance to win a $100 gift certificate to Sally Tomato each month. This contest is only available for club members, so if you're a club member, be sure to take advantage of that because we do pick a winner every single month. We also love to continue to inspire you, so each month you'll find project inspiration on the back side of the postcard included in your membership. Every single month, our warehouse works very hard to wrap all of the Court Club subscriptions individually so it's fun for you to open and receive. We put so much thought and care and planning into this club so we really hope that you enjoy it and it's something special for you to be a part of. 
So this was last month's cork selection. There's a fun little sticker on the outside. And when you unwrap it, here are the two corks from last month. So if you've been following us on social media or our newsletters this year, we are featuring a time warp series. So last month, we went back to the 1950s and we featured this exclusive 50s abstract design. I'm so glad to hear that everybody loves it. It pairs so well with any solid, lots of fun printed patterns and canvases, or you could even use it on its own. And the mint green paired perfectly with the 50s abstract design because it was inspired by vintage cars and appliances of the 1950s. It was a popular color in homes back then. So we loved pairing these two together and we cannot wait to see how you use them in your sewing projects. I'm gonna wrap this up and set it aside and share a little bit more of what's new. This month we're also featuring some more inspiring projects for spring, including our brand new patterns, Natalie and Ella. These two patterns were collaborated with Dime, which is Designs in Machine Embroidery, where we launched our first ever embroidery collection for embellishing on handbags. Inside the embroidery collection, you'll find motifs, all over designs, quilting designs, a whole variety, so that way you can customize your projects even more. Be sure to grab a kit. We've put together all of the supplies to make the project, so that way you can grab and sew and have a brand new bag ready for spring. And as always, there are complete step-by-step -step video tutorials on both of these patterns. So if either of these designs intimidate you, no worries. I will take you step-by-step -step on how to make the entire project. So check out those videos on YouTube and tag us when you make your own Sally tomato bag. So thinking of spring, usually you think of colors that are light and airy. So we thought a perfect pairing would be to feature our new air mesh and mini mesh. So here I have an array of what is available. We have a selection of four neutral colors. So hopefully those fit into the palette of your projects. So first of all, let's start with our air mesh. So I'm gonna open up our navy blue. And this is a unique material that's often found in athletic bags and apparel. It's very lightweight. It's a uniquely manufactured mesh because there is a layer of foam in between each side of the mesh. You can use this material for pockets, backpacks, fanny packs, other outdoor or athletic bags. One of the patterns that we recently featured it on was our Carlton packing cubes pattern. So this is the top of each of the packing cubes and it works so well because you can see what's inside, but then again, it's breathable. You can fold it without it easily creasing and it's very easy to sew through. So next up, I want to show you our mini mesh. If you haven't tried sewing with our mini mesh yet, I definitely recommend giving it a try. It's lightweight and it's a finer mesh so that way, when you put things inside of either a pocket or your bag, there is slight visibility, but then again, it's breathable, and with the finer mesh, you don't have to worry about certain things poking through the holes and your mesh tearing. So I specifically designed this mesh so that way it would be the finer mesh. So one tip generally for sewing with mesh, you'll want to decrease your stitch length. Another basic tip is that you'll want to check which direction that the mesh stretches. Generally, you'll want the stretch to go along the width of your pieces, so that way when you add things inside the pocket or the bag, it will stretch out naturally versus stretching up and down vertically. If you're interested in more tips or a tutorial on the mini mesh or the air mesh, let us know in the comments below. We've dropped a few more patterns for inspiration in the description below this video so that way you have some patterns to get you started. A few weeks ago, we launched a brand new mini pattern called Oakley. This is a beginner friendly, easy to sew bag that features the fringe detail on the bottom and is cleverly designed by the talented Kate Bashinsky. This pocket size bag holds today's essentials in its main pocket and front card pocket. 
the Petite, Annie Oakley, a famed American sharpshooter, also inspired the fringe decoration. Kate has a wonderful video tutorial on our YouTube channel on how to make this project. So it's a great companion for the pattern if you're visual like me and would like to see the steps in the video. You can find the link to the video tutorial and the pattern and our limited edition kits in the links below in the description of this video. And to wrap up all the new releases for this month for spring and earth month, I'd like to leave you with one of my favorite quotes by Audrey Hepburn. You will discover that you have two hands. One is for helping yourself and the other is for helping others. I find that quotes are so powerful and I love to find a quote for each month to inspire your creative journey. Perhaps this month you can use your hands to share your love of sewing, to teach someone new how to sew or create a gift for a loved one or friend. Any other questions or suggestions about any of the new releases or things that you would like to see here at Sally Tomato, definitely drop a comment below and we read each and every one of your comments. They mean so much to us. We thank you for your support, for your love of sewing, and we hope you're excited about all of these new releases and what's to come this year ahead. Definitely check out our social media pages where we're sharing more behind the scenes. I love to share little bits about my entrepreneurial journey, family, all of our coworkers here. And also check out our events page. I might be coming to a town near you to do a lecture or a class this year. I'm so excited to start touring in a few weeks with my husband and two little boys. So it'll be an adventure for sure, traveling with a two-year-old and a four-year-old. Uh, but we'll be sharing behind the scenes of our tour as well. And we are so excited to get back out there and meet you guys. But until then, I look forward to seeing you and I hope you have a creative day.